Back to TV5 News at 9. It's another edition of Axe the County. And joining us this morning is our great friend, Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak. Tim, it's always good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So some exciting things are happening here in mid-Michigan. We're talking about ways that all of us can like give back because yeah. that's what this holiday season is all about. Absolutely. Uh, so remind us, what is Giving Tuesday? So Giving Tuesday, so on November 28th every year, the designated says Giving Tuesday. So this is a time where we celebrate nonprofits and corporations and businesses that give back to the community. So it's kind of like I was encouraging people, kind of this rallying point for us in Saginaw. And we have so many people. It's funny you go through these organizations' mm -hmm. Facebook pages and you recognize all these people involved. Mm -hmm. um, but like you know, my office, the treasurer's office, last year we went to the soup kitchen, took the whole staff. This year we're going to go to Commission Aging. I just talked to the Public Works Director Commissioner today, and he is at Commission Aging doing volunteers work there with his office. Nice. Um, the controller's office and others have all done all different types of so county employees are involved in this, whether it be mm -hmm. coat drives, mitten drives. Nice. So we kind of do this yearly, kind of by department, mm -hmm. and so. Um, I just thought this is a nice time to share. I mean, there's a lot of organizations, unique ones in town that are helping other people mm -hmm. and what a great opportunity just to just shine a light on folks to just say, hey, listen, you know, it, it makes you feel good to give to others. And, mm -hmm. it, and, it, and it, it might just be in your time. Yeah. You know, maybe you don't have extra money. Not everybody has is fortunate enough to have the extra mm -hmm. money. Is there, are there old items or items around the house? Are, is there time you can provide to mm -hmm. somebody? that is just as valuable as any of the other items. So we've talked about uh, the East Side Soup Kitchen and Hidden Harvest this holiday season. So what are some ways that people can also help them out? I'm assuming, you know, with your time, right? Yeah, so you can, so a couple of things. They have their um, Thanksgiving feast this Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that's available for folks. So once again, so if you're, if you're in need and the community can go eat there. They also have their drive through food distribution on Thursday, November 30th. Mm -hmm. It's something you can go and be a part of and help with the distribution or you could bring items prior to and find out what they may need. Yes. Um, but those are kind of uh, um, different things that they do and they do these food distributions regularly. Um, uh, you can go serve food, you can hand out gifts and there's, um, I know during Christmas time they have a kind of a shop that the folks that go through get to um, shop, if you will, with some nice. kind of some the ticket type stuff. Yeah. So they're always taking donations for that and whether it's, you know, clothes, underwear, mm -hmm. toiletries, mm -hmm. all those things that, you know, are common everyday things, but helpful there. So that's, it's, it, Hidden Harvest and Soup Kitchen do that stuff every single day. They nice. Serve hundreds of people every day. Yeah. And always looking for that. Mm-hmm. And another organization that's always helping around too is, uh, well, it's usually helping kids, is Heart of Saginaw. So tell us a little bit more about Heart of Saginaw. So they're a local nonprofit. They're kind of buried in a neighborhood over by old, the Emmaus House. Mm -hmm. And they had a fire recently, and, and, they, and they're now located at uh, 730 South 14th. And it's a family that they they just provide for kids in the neighborhood, whether mm -hmm. it be clothes, lunches, um, toys. And so what they're asking for is children's toys mm -hmm. for newborns to 16 years old. Um, Five to $15, like in that frame. Um, uh, no electronics, that kind of stuff. They're kind of steer code kids to so maybe games and puzzles and mm -hmm. things like that. But really kind of some neat items and, and clearly another one, um, deodorant, shampoo, body wash, mm -hmm. travel sizes, um, all that kind of stuff. But they're, um, they're located, um, you can get a hold of them at heartofsaginaw at gmail.com. Super cool couple and they're, you know, have given back to the community with their, um, with their house there and it's really That's cool. awesome. Yeah, so yeah. we donated a, a pool and another couple donated sand. We saw oh, them on Facebook, the kids are playing in the rocks. Nice. And so it was like, the, and we didn't know the other couple. My wife and I just kind of helped donate. Yeah. And so, so there's little things like that that are random that folks can get involved in. And it just warms your heart. It totally Especially does. once you see the kids see, playing it when yeah, you're Yeah, you see it getting put to use. <laughs> I love cool. that. So the Whale of Saginaw is an emergency, shel emergency shelter and home for adult men experiencing mm -hmm. homelessness. How can people help them out? So they just opened in June, so they're new, and um, they were toured over there a few different times. It's super neat. So they need volunteers for all types of aspects of their operation, whether it be helping to serve food, um, helping set up different rooms. Um, there's They provide kind of the full program, so folks might need mental health services, mm -hmm. Um, counseling, so they, they kind of provide the whole gamut for, for um, this instance, men that are looking for help. And once again, they're always looking for clothing, linens, mm -hmm. furniture, um, essentials, puzzles, games, books, mm -hmm. things like that. 
So, but it's just a great, a new organization in town, um, but a lot of folks that you'd be familiar with that are there helping out, and it's a, a folks for, in this instance, for men that are homeless, nice. that need that, that need a little bit of place to stay and some mm -hmm. help to get back on their feet again. Yeah, and the under, Underground Railroad is another shelter that's in our area. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about them. So there, there's, um, this is for um, victims, women of domestic violence and sexual assault. Mm -hmm. And um, they're really the only provider of emergency shelter for those types of services. Mm -hmm. And you know, Underground Railroad will take financial contributions, mm -hmm. um, in-kind donations. They have a, a resale shop on State Street, so you can bring in your items there, oh, nice. and they can um, they either sell them or distribute them to the emergency shelter. Mm -hmm. um, or you, they have their wish list as well. Same thing. That's you know, unopened baby formula, mm -hmm. diapers, um, unopened shampoo, conditioner, body wash, sleepwear, loungewear. Um, a lot of different types of socks and underwear for women and then boys and girls, both children wise. So mm -hmm. really a whole list of those types of things that are, you know, can be easy for folks to get and drop off. Um, but once again, you know, if it's, if it's, maybe it's time, they can they'll take people to help work in the resale shop. Yeah. So there's all different types of opportunities. Once again, maybe it's an item, maybe it's money, or mm -hmm. maybe it's just your time that you can provide to somebody. Once again, it's super valuable too. It's a lot of different places for us to give back and, to and for these Giving Tuesday. And just kind of a sampling. So yeah, this is just to, a few. Not to exclude all of the other worthy organizations out there that are, so I didn't, didn't, didn't not pick anybody yeah, on purpose. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just there's so many different places that if you have an interest or if something, you call them up, they may take some. Maybe it's just somebody in your neighborhood mm -hmm. that there's somebody elderly and they need help. Yeah. Just reach out to those folks. It, it's about providing what you have mm -hmm. and giving to other people yeah. and it really makes you feel good it's kind of cool yeah all right Tim well as always we always thank you for thank coming you and so hanging much. out with thank us you. and letting us know everything going on in Saginaw County thank you yeah all right so if you would like any more information on today's topic or if you would like to ask us a question we'll really ask Tim a question not <laughs> us just send it to us over at WNEM at WNEM.com we'll be right back